Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install overlays and themes from the Streamlabs Prime store. I'm gonna show you how to install it onto Streamlabs OBS and then port it over to OBS Studio. So I think this probably covers sort of 70 to 80% of the software that's used out there for streaming. So it just means you're able to add overlays to your stream, off the shelf overlays, and there's a variety of overlays from Streamlabs Online to choose from. If you're anything like me, you like to mix things up and keep things fresh every couple of months, you wanna change things up. In an ideal world, you would just have custom overlays, but it takes a long time, a lot of skill to create really nice overlays. And therefore, the off-the-shelf overlays that are available are a really, really good option for any streamer, particularly streamers that are fairly new or perhaps not that well established yet. Also, can I just get like an F or a rip in the comments? Because this is literally the second time I've recorded and edited this video. The first time I, I managed to corrupt the file and it's the first time I've done that and it's really annoying. So this is the right video for you if you want to know how to install over overlays onto your stream, particularly if it's Streamlabs OBS or even onto OBS Studio, or simply if you're looking to just port over themes and scenes and sources from Streamlabs OBS to OBS Studio. I will link two videos in the description below, which are purely about exporting from one software to the other. And the two videos are from OBS Studio to Streamlabs OBS, and from Streamlabs OBS to OBS Studio. So if you want more detail on that part of it, just click the links in the description. As always, if you find it useful, give it a like, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, feel free to pop in and come say hi. Let's do this. Okay, so first of all, we need to go to streamlabs.com. You can log into streamlabs.com with your own Twitch or YouTube credentials. I recommend doing that because it does then link Streamlabs Online to your streaming platform choice. If you didn't know, Streamlabs Online, you get a load of free tools that are available, including like commands, modules, alert box, and stuff like that. There's a load of free stuff. It's a really good value for money for free. But they also have a Prime option, which is an upgrade option. It's something like 10 or $15 per month, or you can pay like an annual fee and I think you get a small discount. Unfortunately, the overlays and themes that are offered from Streamlabs Online are paid Prime upgrade functionality and therefore you would not be able to access these unless you've got a Prime upgrade. So it is one of the benefits of having that Prime upgrade. If you do upgrade your Streamlabs Online account to a Prime account to access that and many other paid functions such as the website and things like that, use my discount code. The link's in the description. You will get a $10 discount for your fans. Fans? <sighs> don't know if fans is the right word. I think people just tolerate rate me to be honest and you'll get a nine dollar discount for the first month as well so yeah free money for both of us and it helps me out so thanks for that so you want to click on the stream overlays to get a feel for the different themes that are available from streamlabs online it will open up a new tab for you it's just located on the left hand side here but if you can't find it just type like overlays or themes or something like that in this search box and it'll find it this section here you're basically able to search for and browse their theme store these are updated regularly they're always kept fresh you can filter by by like a game category if you're looking for a particular sort of style. You can also sort by feature just added and most popular. And a nice feature that they've got is the filter section here. Allows you to filter by color just in case you're looking for a particular color for your stream. Finally, thing, you can also search specifically for a theme as well. When you find the one that you want, you can click into it and there's an option here to install. One good thing about this is it does show you how many installs this has had already, which is quite a good feature. One thing to note about this is this purely the number of installations doesn't necessarily mean that there are that many versions of this out there on Twitch or YouTube already. People can install these and then use something else. They might not like it. It's purely just an install. Also, often what happens is people might install a theme just to take, for instance, the Stinger file or something like that. So normally the actual figure of people that are actively using this will be a lot lower than the number of installs you see there. When we click on install, it will ask to open Streamlabs OBS. We've already got it open. So what will happen here is it will just recognize that we've got it open. You've got the option here in the top right and corner within Streamlabs OBS to install the overlays. There's like a native browser function within Streamlabs OBS. If you're on OBS Studio, you could still install this into Streamlabs OBS and then port it over to OBS Studio very easily. And I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video. While we've been talking there, that installation is complete. It typically takes a couple of seconds to install. And we've now got access to all of those assets, including 
the stinger files and all that kind of stuff as well man i really don't like this theme at all i, I could not have picked a worse example <laughs> this is just horrible so this is now installed and ready to use on streamlabs obs you'll still have to configure your camera and your microphone and all the other stuff like that but it has recognized the alert box and placed that here it's even recognized some of the labels and placed the labels in the right place so some of the newer themes will even include the labels if you've got labels added to your stream obviously those labels will have to be through streamlabs obs to be able to enable Enable that to work otherwise you're going to manually configure those that's all great but what if you're not using streamlabs obs you're using obs studio i'll show you now exactly how you can export this so what you do here is you need to go into obs studio and within scene collections you can basically import a scene collection from here this just shows the profiles that are currently being used we're going to go ahead and click on import here so what obs studio does here it will try and find any scene collections from known locations and typically this will be from the app data and the roaming i will link the collection path in the description below in case you specifically want to copy that and that is the default location for streamlabs obs to place scene collections obviously if you at the point of installation have chosen a different location for those or if you've moved it or whatever then it may not be in that path location so we can see in the list here there's one called diamond by pre-made gfx if we just check in streamlabs obs that's the name of the scene collection within there so i'm going to go ahead and click to select to import that you can obviously import other scene collections as well if you want to import multiple at the same time and you just need to click the import Import button and that will then import those scene collections within here to actually activate those scene collections within obs studio you simply then have to click it from the scene collections drop down box and that will activate that profile on your obs studio so there you have it, how you can easily install new themes from the Streamlabs store. It doesn't take long at all, so this is a way to easily keep things fresh on your stream. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you get on with this and have a wonderful day. Don't forget to look after yourself, guys. Take care. Right, this is the most progress I've had. I've got a, a hatchet and a pickaxe. Yay! I am at... Uh, I'm miles away, though, dude. I am F F5. Oh, boy, you better make up for it. Don't say that! Oh, for crying out loud. That was a headshot. That was a good headshot. Wonder just absolutely headshotted me. Good effort.